Hello, Matt here with another episode of Magnolia Bridge, where we master the Magnolia bidding style pioneered by Carlton de Reich. For those of you unfamiliar with the Magnolia style, it is a concise yet clear way of bidding, and it is notable for its enriched versions of a few popular bridge conventions. Now, here's Brian. In our previous episode, we described how to respond to partner's one diamond, heart, or spade opening bid. Today, we'll be taking a look at how Magnolia Bridge players respond to one club opening bids. As we've seen before, the one club bid has two meanings. First, opener could be bidding an artificial club, which indicates 12 to 15 points and no five card suit. Or second, opener could be indicating a hand with 12 to 18 points and five or more club cards. Responder must initially assume the first bid was an artificial club until the opener bids their second bid, which will clarify the meaning of the first bid. Let's say your partner has opened the bidding with one club. Your response is based first on the number of high card points in your hand and second on how the cards are distributed among the four suits. Let's have a look at a few hands. One club. Pass. One diamond. In response to one club and with zero to six points, responder's default response is one diamond. Similar to the one club bid, the one diamond response also has two meanings. Either a weak hand with zero to six points or a stronger seven to 11 points and a five card diamond suit. Responder will clarify the response on their second bid. Pass. One no trump. Opener's second bid not only clarifies the meaning of their first bid, but also gives the partner the opportunity to clarify their one diamond bid. Opener could have either one, bid clubs again to indicate having at least five club cards, two, bid a second five card suit, such as hearts, to indicate having two five card suits, such as clubs and hearts, where the clubs are longer or stronger, or three, bid one no trump to confirm that the first bid was indeed an artificial club signifying a hand with no five card suit. Pass. Pass. Responder's second bid confirms having a weak hand between zero and six points. Now here's another slightly different hand where East has more points. One club. Double. Here, East has doubled, indicating an opening hand with no five card suit. East's bid has given North the opportunity to bid again. Therefore, South can now pass instead of bidding one diamond to indicate their weak zero to six point hand. Pass. One diamond. One no trap. Let's have a look at another hand. One club. Pass. Pass. South has the minimum zero to six points, but has five club cards. An opener who opens with an artificial club is guaranteed to have at least one club card. If the opening bid is not an artificial club, then opener has five or more club cards. With a minimum total of six club cards and a requirement to win only seven tricks, opener will likely make a one club contract. This scenario is uncommon as the opposition usually have enough high card points to bid. Let's try another hand. One club. Pass. One diamond. South with seven to 11 points has sufficient points to indicate their hands five or more diamonds. Pass. Two clubs. North, having repeated the clubs, has confirmed having a five or longer club suit and is denying that the first bid was an artificial club. Pass. Two diamonds. 
South, having repeated the diamonds, has confirmed having five or more diamonds and seven to eleven high card points, rather than a weak hand with zero to six points. Pass. Two, no drum. So far, we've covered all of the scenarios specific to responding to a one club opening bid. In summary, with zero to six points, Bid the one diamond negative response unless either your right hand opponent has bid or you have five clubs. With seven to eleven points, bid a five card or longer suit or bid one no trump. If your suit is diamonds, repeat the bid to indicate having five diamonds. With twelve or more points, jump bid a five card or longer suit or jump bid to two no trump. Now let's have a look at today's hand. One club. With 12 to 18 points and five clubs, West has bid one club. Pass. With 11 points and no six card or longer suit to bid a preemptive bid, North has passed. One diamond. As North has passed, East is obligated to respond to partner's one club opening bid. By bidding one diamond, East is indicating either zero to six points or 7 to 11 points and 5 diamonds. 1 spade. South is showing an opening 12 to 18 point hand and 5 or more spades. 2 clubs. West has clarified their 1 club bid by repeating their clubs to indicate a 5 card club suit rather than an artificial club. 3 spades. North's hand does not have a 5 card suit but does have sufficient support for partner's spades. As North initially passed, South knows that North does not have an opening hand with 12 or more points. By skipping the two spade bid and jumping to three spades, North is indicating nearly 12 points, likely 11, giving the partnership a minimum of 23 points. This gives an opportunity for South to bid a game contract of four spades if South has more points than the minimum 12. Pass. If East had 7 to 11 points instead of 0 to 6 points, East would have rebid the diamonds to indicate having a 5 card diamond suit. 4 space. South, with 15 points, assumes partner has 11 points, which totals to 26 points, sufficient for a game contract in spades. With West having at least 12 points, South has correctly deduced that a slam contract was not possible. Pass. 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 Let's watch as they play the hand. West is attacking with the ace of clubs and wins the first trick. West plays a second round of clubs and now knows that there are two club cards outstanding. West has started a third round of clubs. With the winning queen, declarer has to decide which of dummy's cards to discard, either a heart or a diamond. With dummy's ace of diamonds and a singleton diamond in the hand, a few of dummy's diamonds can be roughed. As the king of hearts is a winner, this leaves two losing heart tricks to resolve. Therefore, a heart has to be discarded. East, being void in clubs, has won the trick with the two of spades. East has led the four of hearts, targeting the gap between the ace and nine on the board. Declarer tried to finesse the queen, but the finesse failed and dummy had to play the ace. Declarer has finally gained control, but cannot lose any more tricks. Declarer has to recognize that the promoted queen of clubs can be used to discard dummy's remaining heart loser. However, as East is now void of clubs, opposition's remaining trump need to be eliminated first. When running a suit, players usually win on the short side before transferring to the long side. However, with a limited number of opportunities to transfer control from the hand to the board, Declarer has decided not to play the Queen of Spades first. The second round of spades has fortunately eliminated all of opponent's trump. 
The good queen of clubs is played, and the remaining heart loser is discarded. A small diamond is led to dummy's ace. A small diamond is led to be roughed in the hand. The hand's good king of hearts is led to remove the last of dummy's hearts. The hand's remaining heart is led to be roughed by dummy's queen of spades. Another of dummy's diamonds is led to be roughed in the hand. The last trump takes the last trick, making the four spade contract. In duplicate bridge, for making a four spade contract, north-south receives four times 30, which is 120 points, plus bonus points for bidding and making a game contract of either 300 if not vulnerable, or 500 if vulnerable. Now here is Carlton de Rijk with today's commentary. Having a clear understanding of the system that you're playing, you have no doubt in what your partner is telling you, and therefore you can arrive at the correct decision. And with that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, and as always, may all the points be with you. Thank you.